Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how I became a developer. A lot of people ask me, how long have you been coding? How did you get your first job? And um, one night about, I would say probably about six weeks ago, I was, I was feeling, I don't know if I was feeling bad, but I was in some sort of mood. And um, I, used to, I used to write quite a bit, and I ended up writing a blog, essentially telling my developer story. That The plan was to actually go and put it and, and submit it to Free Code Camp's Medium publication. I, I, I don't know, this is my rough draft. There's a lot I want to do with it still, but I, I figured before I kind of whittle it down and take out the embarrassing parts, refactor some of it a little bit, here we have the rough draft, and you guys can really hear the story as I actually sort of... And I'm sure you'll have heard bits and pieces of this, but I'm really going to paint the whole picture from basically 2015 uh, to the present about my life and my thought process and how I became to become a developer. Um, so I'm going to read this and um, maybe one day I'll actually finish it up. And one thing to keep in mind is that uh, I, I really only consider this part one of how I became a developer because I, I think as a developer you have to be in the mindset that you're always getting better and part two will be maybe how I became a mid-level or senior level developer um, but this is my story the origin story if you will um, it's gonna, I'm gonna try not to feel awkward reading this because it's kind of personal but I, I will do my best um, because it's very honest anyhow so 6-4-2015 will mark the day my coding channel started in my eyes and also the day I started to change my life with code. It was at this time that I decided to make a game plan and stick, stick to it to become a developer. I was a CS student and in all honesty I hated it. As, rules, as a rule of thumb I recommend most people go and get a degree for the record. To sum up my game plan it was, it was to become a better developer by doing online tutorials at the time. It was just, at the time, it was just Code Academy. Mind you, this is a rough draft, guys, so I apologize if the grammar is not perfect. Uh, from there, I would put them on YouTube as a sort of video portfolio, and I'm lucky, and, and if I'm lucky, make some ad revenue in the process. I was highly inspired by my friend of 20 years, Matt Tran, Engineer Truth, so I can't say I have, I came up with this idea completely on my own. From, from there, the idea was to get an internship, try to get hired, uh, try to get hired there at the internship or in a role where I could still be a full-time student to finish up my degree. Later on, after a very specific event, my plan would change. I began, became willing to take a role in the field, even if it was a developer role, developer role and stop going to school for, uh, for the time being. I did the math on what I needed to scrape by with, and it came to about $20 an hour in the Los Angeles area if I was going to drop out and get some semi revelant work experience and come back to school at a later date. So this was about in 2015 in which I uh, kind of formulated my thoughts of, hey, I'm in school, I'm hating it, it's so slowly killing me. Uh, I believe I'm probably starting my junior year at this point and um, it's been on my mind for probably about a year and now uh, we're moving forward. I applied to several hundred applications, no exaggeration, in, in the Los Angeles area. I eventually got a three-month internship at the web at a web design company after posting my resume on Craigslist. Yes, there is a resume section to Craigslist. I got called at about 6 p.m. and asked if I could come in for an interview at 6 a.m. the next day. I said yes, even though the internship was 120 miles away and took around two hours each way. When I arrived, I honestly did very poorly in the whiteboard interview, which was covering HTML and CSS. While... Uh, Part of the reason was I was purely studying JavaScript and Java at that time. I felt I, was not, I, I felt I would not get the role, as this was my first technical interview, I at the very least got some experience out of it. As I was leaving, he told me he was going to call the more qualified candidate, who was a recent CS grad, and said uh, he needed his, uh, who said he needed his sleep and couldn't be in until 9 a.m. that the role was filled. So that guy told the guy when he asked him to come in at 6, said, no, I can't be in until 9 or 10. Uh, and uh, he lost the internship for that for that reason. I would start the next Monday and we get the first relevant experience on my resume for a whopping $12 an hour. It wasn't much money, but it was the first step on my journey to becoming a developer. At the end of the internship, they hired me as a freelancer, which I would take on several clients of my own down the road for about the next six months. At this time, I had probably about five or six clients doing a lot of content management, um, WordPress stuff, 
um, very very uh, very little web develop more web design and I would I was charging anywhere from 20 to 25 dollars shortly after I found myself penniless and without clients I was still a student at, and at this time my girlfriend was supporting myself uh, herself and her sibling we had taken in every day I was studying and uploading videos to YouTube while working towards the goal it was around it was around this time I was running out of content on Codecademy and I discovered Free Code Camp which had around 30,000 users at that time. I instantly I instantly fell in love with it and knew it was going to be a great resource to help me become a better developer. It wouldn't be much longer that the event I mentioned earlier would occur, the event where I decided I was okay uh, dropping out and going completely all in on the self-taught route. Um, some may think this may be a bit silly. Uh, but it was very profound. I remember it very. I remember it so vividly this day. April and I were grocery shopping, and I needed some underwear. I remember looking in the basket, trying to figure out what food we could get rid of, so I could get some underwear. As we had calculated, as we had it calculated down to the last dollar for the amount of money we had, it was this moment that something made me very sad, but also very angry, that allowed my life to get to this point. I was I was pretty angry with myself. It would be a month later that I would drop out to accept a role as a technology trainer at a software company, essentially doing technical writing. Um, that was my previous job. I was there for about nine months. Um, I know I, to some people it may sound very silly, but sometimes when you... Everyone has things that I kind of... I think they relate back to of how did I get to this point where I have to choose between food and underwear? And that was kind of what put me over the edge, to be honest. And I, I decided I was going to take things a little bit into my own, own hands. A little more than a year ago, a little more than a year ago, I was coding, sleeping, eating, cooking, and everything else in a small 400 square foot room I was renting in Los Angeles. This was one of my lowest points in life. I was unhappy and miserable to be around, which is why April left me at this time. I was living paycheck to paycheck. Sometimes I had my, had my, have my mother bring me groceries if I had an unplanned bill come up and would drive for Lyft to make any side money I could do at the time. So this is probably about a year into my channel, nine months into my channel at this point. Um, so this is probably a year and, depending on what point, a year and a half to a year ago. Nope, more than that, a year and a half, a year and a half ago. However, I was happy to have the job and the and to pad the resume as much as I could. Every day after work, I would go on sites like Code Academy, Free Code Camp, and occasionally Code Combat for three to four hours. On the weekends, I would code anywhere from eight to 14 hours a day, doing my best to build a portfolio, learn skills, and pursue the goal of being a developer. While doing this, I would upload my progress and videos on YouTube, and some of you got to see the struggle for the last two years. Whether that be coding in the closet, coding with the microwave slash kitchen in the background, or me just looking disheveled in the lack of sleep and stress. I was coding so much and doing YouTube that in some of the videos, I'm even eating spaghetti while doing the walkthrough as I was feeling pressed for time. I was always feeling, I always felt I was behind in life and not where I want to be. Something that hasn't really changed too much, uh, to be honest with you, as of, as of today. Um, much worse than though. While on the coding journey, and it was and is definitely a journey, some days were harder than others. I'm not talking about the days where I had more bugs or days where I wasn't understanding concepts like what an API is. I'm talking about the days I felt like a complete loser and an utter failure. Days I felt like my goal of being a developer was a far out fantasy. Days where friends and family, whether intentional or not, were discouraging of the, the decisions I had I made to pursue the route I have taken and the days where I was on the verge of falling apart. Oh, I think when you are taught when you are taking a more risky path, a path that and this this goes in my mindset and as kind of maturing in the last two years of understanding where my family is coming from. I think when you are taking a more risky path, a path that's taken by by most, it's natural for those closest to you to not be supportive or not understand. It could be those closest to you, whether it be your mother, father, brother, sister, wife, or husband, who can kill many of your dreams. Why this is and why it happens is for another time. In my personal life, it was my parents who didn't agree with my path, and it wasn't until the age of 27 that I realized I knew better. I have no doubt, uh, I have no doubt that I'm not alone. I've talked with an ex-convict who is trying to get his life together and become a developer. 
He wanted to turn a new lease on life and provide for his family in an honest and respectful way. Respectable way. When I when I agreed to tutor him, I thought we would be discussing technical skills, a map of what skills to learn in what order. But instead, his first question was, how can I get my wife to understand why I spend my time coding? Um, it's rough out there, guys. Um, that doesn't mean that those closest to you will always be the ones to discourage you along the way, but it does mean in my eyes that they will be the ones... They, they will be the ones that are most likely to, su to succeed. On this, on this journey, one of the best decisions I was ever made to st was to start going to coding meetups. Something I, to this day, go to several every month. I remember when I first started doing RIP, uh, the Iron Yard, that's where my local meetup is. Uh, rest in peace. <laughs> uh, I remember when I first started doing my free code camp tutorials and there was a meetup in downtown Los Angeles a friend of mine was at. She asked me to come down because a fan wanted to say, say hi. I was actually really proud that someone enjoyed my content and thought it was helping them. After about three minutes of talking with the subscriber, another person there looked me up on LinkedIn and said something along the lines of, I didn't know a Domino's driver was allowed to teach code. This would be the only negative experience I ever had out of about 100 meetups. Why am I bringing this up? I want people to be prepared that there are those people who will look at you in the grind and make fun those people who, for whatever reason, will talk down to you, and those people who truly don't want you to succeed. You need to be mentally prepared for this to make sure you stay on track because it only takes one moment that you are not ready to handle and cause one to give up. That's that's really the point of that, guys. Is if not if you don't understand that there are people who are negative in life and and want to hold you back because of whatever reasons. All it takes is for one day you to stop grinding. That's all it takes. Five months pass at my job the tech, as a technology trainer. I've been studying web development exclusively. It is at this time I start getting the confidence I'm ready to work as a front-end developer. I get this from two things. One, working with developers and seeing what they are working on and be able to follow along. Two, seeing the interview, seeing the interview potential junior applicants and seeing a few fail the whiteboard interviews I was certain I could pass. We had a partially... We had a partial glass wall, and if they ever looked out, I'm sure they would see me creepily looking in. I began to look at the job applications to see what skills I am missing for a front-end role. I noticed Angular, JS, and React, and began to start building projects in both. I start learning by watching Derek Bonas' Angular video on Build My Channel's website. Simultaneously, I do the first section of the Code Academy covering React and build the first project on Free Code Camp. Is at this time one of the senior developers who I respect tells me to talk with the director of software engineering about promoting me into a front end or quality assurance role. It takes me about two to three weeks to build the courage to talk with him. He's a really nice and friendly guy and would have no problem working with him in the future, but socially awkward, which makes it a bit difficult, especially talking about a sensitive topic like this. More than anything else, the situation of saying, hey, I don't really like my current job and want this other job, but I also need this job if that doesn't work out so I can pay food, pay for rent and food to survive what was, was what was going on in my head. Some things, ha some, thing, some things change it. I have that conversation. Some things do happen over the next week, but not enough in my own eyes. Over the next four weeks, I, I fill out close to 500 applications. I expand my search out of state after seeing on Indeed that I was in the Los Angeles area applying against 300 applicants and notice in more rural areas, sometimes less than five. I end my lease in Los Angeles and stay in the, the lease is in quotes because I was basically running a room. I, <laughs> I uh, and stay in the guest bedroom of my mother's in pre preparation for a potential move. I apply only the job applic applications listed in the last 24 hours as I want my resume to be one of the first they see and let them know I'm actively looking for work. My new job set, my new job search technique begins to start working. I start getting calls back from Portland, Salt Lake City, Las Vegas, and more. I feel the momentum turning in my favor and hopefully I will land a developer job soon. I get a call from a company in Florida. We discuss my YouTube channel, my experience in AngularJS and web development, and why I want to work as a developer. It goes extremely well in my eyes. I get an offer two days later and accept it. Two weeks later, I'm driving across the country with nothing but my three-cylinder three Mitsubishi Mirage packed to the ceiling. Uh, 
over three days covering eight states, 2,550 miles for a total of 37 hours of driving. I've been working as a full stack developer for now 10 months and it is everything I ever wanted and more. Much like that very long car drive that I felt would never end, I kept moving towards the goal and eventually I got there. I hope while you code daily and when you finally finish that first step of your coding journey, you realize it never ends and, you, and just keeps getting better. So that is my developer story. Um, there's probably bits and pieces I left out, um, but that covers the bulk of it as to where I'm at now. Um, I hope you guys, you know, reflect on, you know, this is basically <laughs> the last two plus years of my life, two and a half years of my life um, to get to where I am today. And, uh, you know, not everything was rainbow and sunshines. You know, my, my mom and my dad weren't happy with the decisions I made. They still aren't. Um, you know, there's, uh, you know, I'm not told you about when I feel like loser. One thing I was always respect April for is even though she dumped my ass, um, so it's mi really a miserable person to be around. I don't blame her. That when I was feeling bad and I needed a friend to tell me that I wasn't a loser and tell me that, you know, are you trying your hardest? And if you are, I know you'll get there. Just to, it's that one day when you think you're thinking about giving up. That one day where things are just, it feels too much in life. She was there to say, you know, no matter how angry she was with me, to say, you know, I believe in you, and you'll get there. Um, but that, that's my story, guys. That's how I became a developer. And uh, I'd love to hear your guys' stories. Um, leave them in the comments. Uh, anyhow, um, we'll be giving a course away. Uh, the key word will be journey. That's really what all this is, is a journey. Um, journey of life with a little bit of code, right? Um, so journey will be key keyword. We'll give away a iOS um, game course or a Windows game course. I, I forget which one I gave away in the last video, but uh, we'll give away a, um, a game course, how to make games with iOS or Android or Windows, one of those. Um, so uh, make sure you use this journey, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you like the video. And if you want to support me, um, you can at Patreon. Join our Facebook group as well and Discord channel. I appreciate you guys all, man. And um, I hope no matter what, where you are in your own journeys, because I, I do see a lot of you comment about how you're worried about getting to where you want to go, is that if you really do just take one step forward every day, it may be a stutter step, but... If you move forward, you'll get there, man. You really will. And I know there's those days where you don't feel like it. And I promise you, when that when that guy basically, uh, as I was riding this high of meeting, basically, not basically, the absolute first person who ever thanked me in person and just was like, hey, I love your stuff. And then you have somebody basically mock you. Um, so you will have lows. And it's it's... It's when those lows come, no matter what they are in life, that you take it, maybe you lay down for a minute, and then you get back up. So I hope you guys get back up on your coding journeys, or uh, whatever journey you are in in life. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.